Hi and welcome back. So we've looked at all the types of forms that you can create on MailMunch and by now I hope at least you have a few working forms on your own site and hopefully a few subscribers as well. Here we were on this, uh, I was working on this uh, site, the one which I started with. So if I want to look at my subscribers, right now I'm on forms. So if you want to see all your forms, you just go to forms and let me just click this one forms. If you click forms, you see it brings you here. And then if you want to see all your subscribers, you'll see that they are listed here for you. And you can do whatever you want with all your subscribers. You can export them as CSV. And if you export them as a CSV, you can import them into MailChimp. If you want to import a list into MailChimp, you can just come, uh, if you want to add the CSV here, you'll just come to add subscribers and then import subscribers. And then you'll be able to do this. You can see this in the MailChimp, uh, in the MailChimp course, there's a section on importing subscribers from a text file or CSV. It is the same process. Just go and have a look at that. And if you want to import your list into get response just go to contacts and then import contacts and then you can upload file and choose your csv file and upload it in here so you can see here you can change the list that you're using if you want to add uh, actually in get response they're called campaigns so you can just add the, you can choose the campaign that you want to add the list to and then you just browse to your CSV and then import it. So that's one thing. And then analytics. Analytics is a, a paid feature. So if you want to be able to see how your forms are performing, then you need to upgrade your account. So as you can see, this is an upgrade feature and then let's see what's here in settings so in settings you can get site code okay so this is where you can get the code oh i see so you can get the site code and just copy it okay so i tried to get this one earlier but uh, i didn't get it and it's nice that you can get it here so edit site, you can go and edit your site. So if you want to change the site, maybe you want to delete the site, then you can also get site code. So if you want to change anything, you can change something about the site. Also, there is a way to add another site. So if you want to add another site, You'll just go to sites. Once you're here, you can say new site. So are you using WordPress for this site? Well, I don't want to use the plugin. So if you if you are adding, well, you can use the plugin. Yeah, yeah, you can use the plugin. But I always prefer not to use the plugin because the first time I used the plugin, I had to go through a lot of steps and I don't like that. I just want to create the form, copy the code and put it anywhere on my web page. And that, and that works well for me. However, if you want to use the plugin, it is a step-by-step -step process. You can choose to use the WordPress plugin. So you would just say no. In my case, yes. In my case, you'd say no. And uh, you give a name to your website. Then you add the domain of your website. You save the site and then you can continue creating your form just like we have done in the past four videos. So what else is here? What's under account? Okay, so under account is your membership. You can choose your membership. You can change your time zone. You can change your email, password, all of that. And then you can also upgrade. If I go back here, that's basically it for this 
tutorial. So why did I decide to do this MailChimp tutorial? The reason I decided to do the tutorial is because I got a question on uh, on YouTube on uh, one of my MailChimp videos and someone was asking, someone was complaining that a pop-up form was not working for their site. So I gave them a suggestion to use MailMunch and then I thought to myself, maybe uh, they've never heard of MailMunch, maybe they don't know how it works. So I decided to do a full uh, MailChimp tutorial, MailMunch tutorial. And this is what I came up with. Actually, I'm right now in the process of creating uh, another course, which is uh, which is for JavaScript, fully JavaScript and uh, and an introduction to programming. So I had to pause that and do this mail munch course. So if you felt that I was kind of in a hurry with this tutorial, it's because I actually was, and uh, I wanted to finish. I wanted to finish all the the sections of mail munch as soon as possible and then edit the videos put them out there and then just continue with this current course that i'm working on which is a uh, introduction to programming i hope this will help you and uh, if you have any questions always feel very free to ask me those questions because i'll do my best to answer them for you otherwise it has been really nice taking you through mail munch and i hope it helps you get leads for your website and your business as well. See you next time.